whatever. You might not think of math when you look at a beautiful painting or sculpture, but math has been a crucial part of art for centuries. The Egyptians built massive pyramids, and they used math to ensure these structures were perfectly aligned. They understood geometry, which helped them create the impressive shapes we see today. They also used symmetry in their art, like in their hieroglyphics, making sure that everything looked balanced and harmonious. The Greeks were famous for their use of geometry and proportion, especially in architecture. The Parthenon, a beautiful temple dedicated to the goddess Athena, is a perfect example. The Greeks used a mathematical ratio called the Golden Ratio to create pleasing proportion. Math is also crucial in Islamic art. Artists created stunning geometric patterns without using any human figures, as their culture emphasized the beauty and nature of spirituality. They use intricate designs based on symmetry and tessellation, where shapes fit together perfectly without gaps. In Chinese art, geometric patterns are deeply rooted in both history and philosophy. Traditional Chinese architecture often features symmetrical designs and precise measurements, reflecting the importance of harmony and balance in Chinese culture. The Renaissance was a time of great artistic achievement in Europe. To make art look more representational, Filippo Brunelleschi developed a mathematically based approach to perspective that was later used by many Renaissance artists. In Leonardo da Vinci's famous work, The Last Supper, he applied this method of using vanishing points to make the room feel three-dimensional. Quilting has a rich history in America, particularly among women who use their creativity to express themselves and tell stories through their work. Many early American quilts feature intricate geometric patterns like squares, triangles, and hexagons. These designs were not just beautiful, they were often based on mathematical principles such as symmetry and repetition. In modern art, we see artists like Piet Mondrian who use simple geometric shapes and primary colors to express ideas. His paintings are a great example of how math can create beauty through simplicity and order. Mondrian believed that art should reflect the underlying structure of reality, which is often based on mathematical concepts. Another key figure in modern art was Kazimir Malevich, a Russian artist known for his groundbreaking painting Black Square. Malevich wanted to break away from traditional representation in art. By using simple geometric forms, he aimed to express pure feeling and emotion. This movement, known as geometric abstraction, influenced many artists around the world. It challenged viewers to see art in a new light, focusing more on the shapes and colors than on realistic representations. Today, many contemporary artists use math in exciting new ways. Some create digital art using algorithms, which are step-by-step -step mathematical instructions. Others explore how math is found in natural forms. Let's look at five artists and how they use math in their art. Vera Molnar is a pioneering figure in algorithmic art, using mathematical algorithms to generate her innovative compositions. Her work often revolves around geometric abstraction, where she explores repetition, symmetry, and transformation through computational processes. Molnar's art exemplifies the synergy between technology and mathematics, pushing the boundaries of traditional artistic expression. Rafael Araujo is known for his intricate hand-drawn artworks that combine mathematical principles with natural forms. He often employs geometric constructions, particularly the Fibonacci sequence and the golden ratio, to create stunning depictions of flowers and shells. Araujo's work highlights the harmony between mathematics and nature, illustrating how mathematical concepts can enhance artistic beauty. David Huffman explores the intersection of geometry and cultural identity in his vibrant abstract paintings. His work often features bold geometric shapes that reflect personal and societal narratives, using math to structure his compositions. By integrating mathematical concepts, Huffman creates a dialogue between form and meaning, inviting viewers to engage with the deeper layers of his art. Liang Wang utilizes geometric abstraction 
to investigate concepts of space and perception in his paintings. His work often features precise lines and shapes that create a sense of depth and in movement, inviting viewers to experience the interplay of geometry and color. By applying mathematical principles, Juan transforms simple elements into complex visual experiences that challenge conventional viewing. Elena Manfredini merges architecture and art through the lens of mathematical principles, focusing on form and structure in her innovative designs. Her work often features intricate patterns and geometric motifs that are both aesthetically pleasing and functionally sound. By employing mathematics in her creative process, Manfredini bridges the gap between artistic and architectural practice, demonstrating how math can inspire and inform design. The work of these five artists utilizes the relationship between art and math. Next time you look at a piece of art, think about what math might be behind it, because every brushstroke and shape might just have a mathematical secret.